Hello guys, welcome to another video for your daily dose of maths. This video is about A-Levels Paper 3 Trigonometry and this video is actually an identity proving concept and you must memorize this concept before going to your exam. This is a very important tactic to know before you sit in your exam. So let's have a look at the question first. The question is to expand cos 3x and we have to show that this would be equivalent to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Uh, this is not a very difficult idea to prove, uh, but you must know the tactic behind it. Sometimes the examiners do guide us what tactic it is. Sometimes you have to figure it out yourself. So I'll just start uh, with the first very important idea that you have to break this angle into two portions. So this cos 3x must be broken into cos of 2x plus x. First of all, we are going to use a compound angle formula over here to open these uh, brackets. And what that would achieve is that it would break the angle down into two different terms for 2x separately and for x separately. So let's apply the double angle, uh, sorry, compound angle formula for cos. So this would be cos A cos b minus, be careful about the sign, sine a, sine b. Now, what we have achieved over here so far is that we have broken down the angle 3x into two different terms. Uh, these uh, two terms contain the angle 2x and there are two terms with the angle x. And our final goal is to go to singular angle x. Now, we will focus now on the terms with the double angle. So this is cos 2x, this is sine 2x. We know for sine 2x, we do not have many other options. We only have one option available, and that is 2 sine x cos x. We will use that expansion over here. And for cos 2x, we have actually um, three different variations. And I'm going to choose the variation with cos only because my final answer is in terms of cos. So I'm going to use 2 cos square x minus one over here. So let's plug in these substitutions and our final step would look something like this. So this is two cos square x minus one and this is two sine x cos x over here. Now, once we have done that, we can see that we have fixed the angle from 3x to x across this entire expression. And you don't have to worry about the angles now. Now, we all, ha all we have to do is we have to simplify this and show it equivalent to a 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Let's multiply these cos terms inside. So this would become 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 sine x cos squared x. Uh, sorry, that would be 2 sine squared x cos x. Now, the only trouble left with this entire expression is that we have to get rid of this sine squared term to bring everything in terms of cos, and we know a very easy substitution for that, and that would be 1 minus cos squared x. So you have 2, two cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 cos x. And in place of this sine squared x, I'm going to place 1 minus cos squared x. And with this step, we have gotten rid of all the non-cos terms and as well as we have fixed the angle. And I think in a step or so, we will be able to get to our final solution. So this is 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 cos x plus 2 cos squared x. Now, uh, sorry, it would be cubed over here. This would be 2 cos x into cos squared would become 2 cos cube x. So 2 cos cube plus 2 cos cube would give us 4 cos cube x and minus cos x minus 2 cos x would give you minus 3 cos x. And this is what we had to prove in the beginning. So in this question, what we learned was basically the tactic 
of how to break the angle from 3x and you have to bring it to angle x. The main two pointers that you have to know are, first of all, break the angle of 3x into 2x plus x, apply the compound angle formula so that you have separate terms for angle x and angle 2x. Then apply double angle identities on the terms with angle 2x and you will fix the entire angle. The rest of it is just algebraic manipulation and nothing further. This is a very important tactic that you must know before going to your exam. If you have learned something new from this video, do share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions, any comments, any queries, do leave us a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.